afternoon, I'm Paul Dorzak, here at Unique Chrysler on this lovely afternoon in October, a division of Car Nation Canada, 915 Walker's Line, with part three of my 2015 Jeep Wrangler segment. Behind me, 2015 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon in this new color for 2015 called Hank. So in this part three, I'm covering the Rubicon. In the first ones, I covered the Sport trim level as well as the Sahara. I just want to take this opportunity and thank those of you who did have a ch uh, chance to watch my earlier two videos. So like I say, I'm here with the Rubicon 2015. What's different on the Rubicon over the other two trim levels? First of all, this large insignia Rubicon on the hood is what's gonna distinguish it over the uh, two other trim levels. In all four corners on this 2015 Jeep Wrangler, as well as on the back lift gate, you're gonna see the 17 inch polished aluminum painted center mineral gray rims. They're wrapped in a BF Goodrich Mud Terrain TA tire, 255-75 R17. A lot more aggressive tread design than the other two trim levels, the Sahara and the Sport. Another thing different on the Rubicon over the other two are these rock rails. No longer a sidestep. Basically, these are intended to take the grunt of a stone, a log, uh, banging the vehicle and not damaging the rocker panels. Just above the shocks that I mentioned is this class two receiver hitch. This vehicle is equipped with the optional maximum tow package, giving you a 373 gear ratio as well as this four pin connector, allowing this Jeep to actually tow 3,500 pounds. Some of the major differences to the Rubicon over the Sahara and the Sport trim level are right here at the front. The uh, Rubicon is equipped with a Dana 44 heavy duty front axle versus the Dana 30 that's offered on the other two trim levels. Also with this, you're getting electronic front sway bar disconnect. This allows for more articulation of the front suspension, but still being able to engage the sway bar so you don't get much body roll for everyday driving on the roads. Also with this is the Rock Track heavy duty part-time four-wheel drive suspension, as well as the True Lock front and rear axle locks. This allowing you to lock the axle on the front of this Dana 44, as well as on the rear of this Dana 44. Simply, more off-road characteristics than the other two trim levels. Electrochromatic auto dimming rear view mirror. Gonna detect headlights coming up behind you, dim itself. Standard equipment also available, uh, sorry, also standard equipment on the Sahara. You get two uh, map lights in there as well. Uh, this one in particular is equipped with the leather trimmed bucket seats. Now, these are also heated. So the passenger has a high and a low heat setting. High being two lights low being one, as well as me, the driver, right there. Uh, things like power, heated uh, mirrors, standard equipment, obviously air conditioning is standard equipment just as it is in the Sahara trim level. I'm going to show you this N430 six and a half inch touchscreen multimedia interface. Button on the top left, voice recognition, no different than the adjacent button on the steering wheel here. Just below that is the Uconnect, so this is the pairing of the Bluetooth device. Um, radio will switch me from AM, FM, satellite. Now, because it is touchscreen, I can simply hit these buttons. So, now that I'm on, on FM, for example, say I want to listen to 90, 91.9. Simply hit the voice recognition, 91.9. Took me right to the radio station. Now say I want to make that a preset. I'm going to hit my presets. Sorry, bring them back up. Holding number one, you're going to see it's going to go from 87.7 to 91.9. So now that's one of my presets. And I can actually go through all these presets with the left buttons on my steering wheel. 88.1, 98.1, you can see my hands are here. I'm not touching any of these buttons. Or I can track through these, um, radio stations again through the steering wheel so I'm on seek right now so it's simply seeking through all the radio stations so that's a little bit about that obviously satellite radio is, is uh, standard equipment in this now here's a nice little feature say you're listening to satellite radio you want to bring up your navigation but you still want to see all this by hitting the nav button on the top right corner 
I bring up the navigation. This is Garmin technology, live updates, uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, showing me where I'm driving, my speed, everything that's expected these days. Back to the radio, by hitting media, I'm now going to my hard drive. This is a 40 gigabyte hard drive. For example, uh, it's just written right there, a friend happens to have a CD you like with certain songs. By hitting the load button on the top right corner, it exposes the CD DVD tray. I would put the CD in there, it would actually copy all the songs from the CD, installing them on my hard drive in the jukebox, which allows me to go through the songs by artist, song title, genre. Also, as I touched upon earlier, this is a DVD player. Right now we're in park, say we were camping, tailgating, I can actually watch a movie on this system. Though it's a six and a half inch screen, it's very clear, um, audio is broadcasted through the vehicle, it's actually quite nice. So that's a little bit about the nav, the DVD player, the hard drive. Sirius satellite radio, also you have an auxiliary port so you can uh, run any media device and a USB port as well. So here you could download music, same way as a CD, but simply through a USB stick. This is my file, so this shows me my music that I have on here, which unfortunately I have none because it's a new vehicle. I can even put photos. By putting photos on here, I can change my background. I could have a photo of my family, of me and my Jeep on the weekend with my buddies, what have you. So that's a little bit about this 430N. Nice system, very user friendly, uh, getting great reviews on it. Power windows are located just below that. They're auto for driver and passenger, auto up, down, manual up, as well as the rear. And then here's the lockout. So if you have kids in the back, you don't want them playing with it. Uh, a little bit about here, obviously hazard lights, Nice thing on the Rubicon, just like the Sahara, I have a 115 volt power inverter. So I can turn that on or off, and that's simply located right here on the center of uh, the center console. So you can run um, a cell phone charger, laptop charger, what have you. That's a little bit on the, the standard equipment on the Rubicon. I'm gonna touch upon some of the buttons that uh, operate the front diff lock, the rear diff lock, as well as electronic uh, sway bar disconnect. On the Rubicon, not necessarily the 2015, but this has been around since about 2009. Here's my sway bar disconnect. So if I hit this button, it's electronically disconnecting my sway bar. You'll see the um, illumination coming on there. So this is gonna allow me to articulate the suspension. At the same time, this axle lock button, I have a rear button, which engages the lock on the rear, as well as the front. So there's rear, there's front and rear. So they're both engaging right now. Only on the Rubicon, the Sahara, Sport, not even an option, uh, not available at those trim levels. One of the options on this Rubicon is this eight speaker, plus subwoofer Alpine Premium Stereo. This is 552 watts. Very nice system, like I say, eight speakers. The two mids in the, um, in the dash, there's two, um, or sorry, tweeters, my apologies, two tweeters, two mids in the dash as well, two mounted in this roll cage as well as in the back here. Very nice stereo, very well plotted out. So in the rear of this 2015 Rubicon, First of all, this one's equipped with dual top group, so obviously the standard hard top as well as the optional soft top. Here's this nice reversible mat, carpet on one side, rubber on the other, very versatile. Here's that subwoofer I touched upon. So this is what they did new in 2015. You're gonna see it's an all weather subwoofer. So this thing can take a lot of punishment and it's simply housed in this uh, subwoofer box just in the back here. So they took it off the side and placed it here, very nice. Also here are uh, all your organizers for your door hinge bolts, your roof bolts, uh, and the jack is just below this guy right here. Housed right there. Now the nice thing what Chrysler does with the Jeep Wrangler, actually with all their models, is they offer you five year, 100,000 kilometer roadside assistance. Once again, I'm Paul Dworzak, here at Unique Chrysler, 915 Walker's Line, Burlington on this windy October afternoon, a division of Car Nation Canada with this 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited in tank. Happy trails.
I apologize. Before I let you guys go, I mentioned three part. I'm gonna be doing a fourth part, which I'm actually quite excited about. It's gonna be the Hard Rock addition to the Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Thanks again.